Hello, gentlemen and beautiful ladies. All right, y'all. If you remember my world-renowned, critically acclaimed video, Taco Truck Express, I made some brown gravy. Well, that brown gravy is coming back. And the reason it's coming back is right there. This is Lazy Man Salisbury Steaks. All you need is pre-made beef patties from the store. It's Walmart special. Dice up an onion. Don't dice it up, just slice up an onion. And I'm putting mushrooms in mine because I like mushrooms. But I'm only going to put the mushrooms in the last half hour. Because otherwise they'll just shrink up and look like you know, little, little brown blobs of nothing. So, let's get it done. There's the brown gravy. Man, that's hot. Just barely coat that top Salisbury steak there. And you want to kind of mix around all the juice so that that gravy kind of gets mixed in. Now I'm just going to bring this back to a simmer and uh, simmer it for, I don't know, about an hour and 15 minutes or so. It's starting to kind of bubble a little bit just like that now if y'all don't have any pre-made gravy like I did just add some flour water and some soy sauce those are your best friends the rest will take care of itself now to go with this y'all I'm gonna cook some greens mustard greens to be exact now check this out right here big leaves of that the greens now underneath that big mess of greens is about couple of slices of that onion. I just threw those off in there. I'm also going to add some of this uh, Hungarian pepper, whatever the heck this is. I can't even remember what the name of it is. I'm going to throw that in there. Greens they usually need some serious help. So we're going to throw that in there, kind of dress it up a bit, give that a chop and shot. But your best friend in this respect is this right here. Bacon grease. Or some pieces of bacon that's gonna help you out this is part of my cardio diet right here it's fighting me doesn't want to come out of here there you go that should do it that's good for one artery anyway and last but not least you're gonna need some type of seasoning so I'm gonna use my fajita seasoning because I just put this stuff on everything now we're going to fill this pot with hot water, bring it to a boil, then just turn it down to a simmer and just let it kind of melt together. Be like a big thing of spinach, you know, out of the can. Y'all changed my modus operandi on these uh, mushrooms. I forgot my wife really doesn't care for them all that much, so I didn't want to put them in the gravy with the Salisbury steaks. So I'm going to do this number with them. Get some butter. Add some butter. And then, of course, season them a little bit. And I decided I'm going to change pots. Something with the lid on it. Shrooms always go with beef. Now I put just a little bit of water in here with the shrooms. Going to turn these on, and then melt, let that just let them kind of meld together. I'll stir them around a little bit here and there, you know. That's what we're looking at. And man, it does taste good. I'll tell you. Going to add a little Winchester sauce. Going to help it out a little bit. Okay, y'all, it's time to eat. Let's fix a plate. These are always so watery. Probably should drain them off. Right, we'll just do it like that. How's that? Okay, y'all, there we go. Got some greens. We got mushrooms. And we got Salisbury steak. Technically, hamburger patty. Let's try these mushrooms first. Those are rock solid. Now the greens, a lot of people aren't a fan of greens. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of greens. But uh, I grew these in the backyard, so I felt kind of guilty just 
you know, cutting them down and not eating them. But they do usually need some help. I'm going to mix a uh, mushroom in with this. I'm trying not to burn my face off. Look at that. It's almost like spinach. I probably should have cut them up a little smaller. It's going to look like a cow chewing a cud. Those aren't bad. That's pretty good. I'm going to dump a lot of gravy on those. And then they'll be, they'll, it'll be awesome. Wow. And from what I understand, they're real good for you. Not that I care. I'm kind of like on that seafood diet. If I see it, I'll eat it. All right, let's try this hamburger patty. That's technically pretty much just been boiled. Kind of like back in the old school days. Maybe you didn't know that, but those hamburgers they sold at school, they used to just boil them. Now, that's a ticket. Well, I'm going to go ahead and eat, y'all. That's my quick and easy dinner. Pretty cheap, too. You just go for it. It's not, not a big deal. So, I appreciate you watching. And uh, it's time to go eat.